<laughs> and what is he? What is he? What is he? That's, that's flipping the song. You are. Sing that part. Sing that part. You are good. All the time. All the time. You are good. You are good. All the time. Yeah. From every nation and tongue, from generation to generation, we worship you. For who you are. That's what we do. Come on, y'all give the Lord an answer. Is that, is that sometimes that's how you feel. So my worship leader, don't be afraid to explore. Don't be afraid to totally surrender and let God take you out of what's comfortable. What's familiar. What's popular. And let God use you specifically to set the atmosphere in this house. Because praise and worship comes first so that the atmosphere can be changed. Yes. So that everything that needs to happen in a worship experience can happen because the atmosphere is conducive. It's conducive. For birth. Do y'all hear me? Because we come to church so that some things can be birthed. So in other words, your praise and your worship has to penetrate the atmosphere. Because conception happens with penetration. Oh my God. And releasing. And then birthing comes forth from pushing. And travailing. But it never happens in the atmosphere because we won't penetrate the thickness and the things that's in the atmosphere that needs to go so that it can be changed. So that it can become a, 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 a room where birthing takes place. So we as, as, as components of all of that, praise and worship, you set the atmosphere.